Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Out of the Can Haunt Review 2016. Taking a look at the House of Shock as it's placated, as it's placed all over Crystal's torso. I don't yeah. know why is it placated. I don't but know either. <laughs> words, it's hot in here, okay? It is. We're recording in the tin can known as our haunted house. Yes, during the day <laughs> this time, which yes. is why the lighting looks a little different. Yes, and it's also, <laughs> it's like sweat pouring down, so that's the reason. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> House of Shock. Yes. 2016. I gotta say, I was a little worried with this visit this year. I was too. We when almost I, talked about skipping, honestly. We did, because we had heard that not a lot had changed. Yes. And Which this is our, both true and not true at the yeah, same time. Yeah, we're gonna get there. And that was kind of our frustration, though, with the House of Shock previously. Right. Was that they have an amazing haunt. It is a great haunt. And it was a haunt that stayed the same for year after year after year after year and never yep. really evolved or changed in any meaningful way. And the result of that was you just kind of could skip years, at least a few years here and there, right. and not miss anything. Yeah. And we were worried, and still kind of are, that they were going to fall into that same pattern. Right. Yeah, we are worried for next year. We're wor yeah, worried for next year. This year, however, we are not. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to make my first ever retroactive recommendation. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a retroactive recommendation. So hop into your time machine and accept <laughs> my recommendation in a minute. But regardless... House of Shock, as we know, nearly closed last year. Yes. And then they came back with a vengeance, or they call it a resurrection, yes. last year. And then this is their second year of the new setup. Now, the new setup is actually three attract. I, I have I find it weird saying three attractions. Yeah, because it's one price still. It, 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 to my book, if you can't buy separate tickets, they're not mm -hmm. separate attractions. But that's just me. They call it three attractions. Yeah. One is the Seaman Skunkies Bordello Freaks. Right. One is the Laugh in the Dark, the mm -hmm. 3D thing. And then the main House of Shock. Right. And, yeah, last year we were all a flutter about how much was different, how much was new, and how exciting it was. Right. And, yes, it was very, very, very new and very good and very exciting. Mm -hmm. This year, <coughs> well, we know from last year they only had a few months to do that crazy build. Right, yeah. I, I'm they not had sure. a lot of work done in that time. <laughs> there will be, like... Tales in the next Bible about how hard they had to work. <laughs> there will be funny. <laughs> there, I know it is. There will be <laughs> legends written across the sky about that work. <laughs> they, there, that future generations will hear about this Herculean effort. Yes. But and your point. <laughs> the point is, they got it up and they got it running and they yeah. made a complete haunt out of what they had. Right. They did great. Mm -hmm. It did not feel incomplete last year. No. But this year, they had, once again, 365 days to work, and it shows. Yes. Now, there was nothing breathtakingly new. Yeah. I didn't walk in anywhere and go, well, this is really new. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm totally lost. I don't recall this. But there was a lot of little improvements sprinkled throughout. Right. And it felt like some of the areas that had fewer actors last year have more actors this yes. year. You know, especially the bordello. Yeah, and yeah. areas that might have had fewer details had more. Oh yeah, it's it, it, it I, seemed like the, I noticed a lot more eye candy. Yeah, so. it's it seemed to me that this was the show they wanted to put on last year. Right, and by eye candy, I mean um, like pretty set design stuff details, to look at. Yeah, not not like eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Crystal. We all know, <laughs> but. The point of the, but yeah, it was this thing where there was, like I said, nothing gapingly new, but a lot of detail, a lot of interesting little things thrown in throughout. Right. And it added up. It, it felt like a much more finished product this year. It did. Which kind of leads to my retroactive recommendation. Right. If you're planning on going to the House of Shock last year, yeah. don't go last year, go this year. <laughs> And if you went last year, still go this year so that you can see what they well, did. Well, you know, if, if you're one of those yeah. time forward people. Yeah. Some um, of us can only move forward in time. Yes. Uh, those of minute you that, by minute. Well, if you have that second. limitation, um, yeah. yes, <laughs> definitely go this year. Because, like I said, it felt like a much, much more detailed, strong haul. Now, the one thing I didn't really care for this year was the stage show. Yes, it is different from last year. It is very different. Yes. I grant that. And it is time appropriate. It is it is topical. <laughs> we'll yes. Say. Yeah, and I wish... Okay, so here's what I wish about the house shop. Is that I could buy a ticket to skip the line for the stage show. And just go straight into the hall. Yep. I would not 
disapprove of that because here's the thing with the House of Shock. We actually ran the numbers on this. Yeah. And so House of Shock is about um, 13 miles from our house. Right. 13 miles. 13 miles. Rise, mm -hmm. which we've done our review on previously, yes. um, is 70 miles. Right. If we start from our driveway, mm -hmm. we can go to Rise, do their haunt, and zombie paintball, and come back in the same amount of time we can leave our driveway, go to the House of Shock, see the stage show, and the haunt, and come back. Right. Those two tasks take the exact same amount of time. Yeah. Which is a little over three hours. Which is a little bit over three hours. Except with Rise, we are literally driving for over two of those hours. Right. With House of Shock, we're standing in line for, it seems for at like least one. At least one yeah. of them. Because that's the thing, is they have this huge throughput issue, and it's caused by the stage show. Because between Sideshow Matt, I right. said Sideshow Mel, who, by the I way, um, Reverend Be Dangerous is not there this year. Right. They have Sideshow Matt. It's largely the same show with some different stunts. Yeah. But it's the same type of show. I think he's a better personality. You know, I think we're going to agree to disagree on that one. Okay, fine. I, I think they're not, I, I, they're not like so, you know what I mean? There's like no clear winner in my head. Right. But I think I give a slight edge to Reverend Be Dangerous. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know. The, the the human hardhead act, as he calls it. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, they all seem kind of the same to me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> to me personally. This is just me True talking. enough. But the point is, whenever he comes on, they stop the line. Right. Nobody's going into that haunt. And they stop it for him, and they stop it for the stage show. For between 20 and 30 minutes of every hour. Because I think the stage right. show is hourly. It is. No one's going in. Yeah. And that just makes everything take so much longer. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's this deal of I'm spending all this time in the house of shock. And all we did in that time that spent in the house of shock, because I think we rolled up there a little before 930. Yeah. We didn't leave until 1140. Right. The only thing we did in between was park, <laughs> get in line, get our tickets, get in line, go into the, go see the stage show, go through the haunt, buy a soda, buy a t-shirt, and get out. Yep. That's All it. that took well north of two hours. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of time it is. to spend going to a haunt. And unfortunately, it's not time spent doing things that are all fun. No. The devil's was, oh yeah, I watched the concert for an hour, I drank at the bar for 30 minutes. No, It's no. not like that. The Most of this time is just standing in a gravel pit in Jefferson. Right. And in the heat and really wanting a drink, but not wanting to deal with getting out of line to get a drink. Yeah, and, and this has the problem where people are constantly jumping the rail to leave to go get drinks right. and food and then having to cut back in. Right. So you don't know who's actually cutting in line and who's just going back to where they were in line. Exactly. It, it, and it's it would computer. be nice if they had um, some of their shot girls or something offered to get other drinks. Yeah. Even if it was just like beer. Even if it was beer other, or water or, or anything. anything. Yeah. Because a shot's not going to do much for me right. in that line. Yeah. Um, so basically our complaints are with the outside part of the house of shot, yeah. not <laughs> with the inside. inside. <laughs> yeah. Then the stage show, by the way, I just, it, this one was not a, a very good one for them. Uh, I found it humorous in you places. See, but that's just, that, that, to me, the house of shock stage show is at its best when it's doing this like Shakespearean big, elaborate story of betrayal and all this. This was a presidential campaign joke. Yeah. That could have been told in about 10 seconds. I um, did like the little commercial they showed. That was funny as hell. Yeah, I, but, I liked the commercial part. But if I wanted to see a man in a bad rubber mask, <laughs> th bad rubber mask, bad, ru bad rubber Donald okay. Trump mask. Don't give away too much of the I'm stage show. Some people go to it to see the okay. stage show. You know, but if I wanted to see that, I'd be on the internet. <laughs> well, yeah, that's but true. yeah, so that they have posted sh uh, video of yeah, it. Yeah, they have. But yeah, the, the the stage show to me just wasn't up to their par this year. It was yeah. it had all the pyrotechnics, but the theatrics and all that just wasn't there for me. Right. Um. Still, the haunt itself, the work they put in their shows, it's got great detail. It's better. I think it's way better than it was last year. The makeup and mask work they did. Mm -hmm. Whew, I was really impressed by a lot of that. Yeah, I was too. Yeah, they've got. They must have a new makeup person on set. Yeah, or they spent a lot of time develop, building those new masks. Right. So a lot of those masks were custom builds. Right. They, they looked really good. They put a lot of work into this stuff. Yeah. And it shows. So the inside of the haunt is great. It's the challenge of getting into it that right. is frustrating. Yeah. I'm, I'm fine with the price. The price point feels just fine and dandy yeah. to me. I'm. 
I'm fine with there being a stage show. I just wish I didn't have you know to spend all that time waiting for it. Right. I, I don't know. I, I really wish they could mm -hmm. crack this nut and yeah. solve this problem so that you're not spending you know over an hour of your time. If you don't want to. If you don't want to. I, I think it should be an option because there are some people who love the stage show. Yeah, and the stage will go every year. Because I'm fine with there being one, yeah. but I think that they separated the queue for the stage show from the haunt. Right. They might be better off. Yeah. I, I think that's one potential solution. Anyway, we've told, we've bounced ideas for fixing this off yeah. each other for years. Yeah. Now we haven't really made that much progress. To Not be really, no. But the point <laughs> of the matter is, haunt solid, great price. Mm -hmm. Much improvement over next year. I'm I'm hoping that next year will be the one where they produce and do a lot of new things. Right. But this year feels like the show they wanted to do last year. Right. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. When you're going to improve the haunt that drastically, it's okay to have a similar show. Just you know, I think next year is going to be the one to come back with something new and to bring something to the table that we hadn't seen before. Right. I think so. I think that's is that fair. That's that's fair. Is there anything else to add? Nope. Nope. So we're done with house show. Yeah. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. This is Garbage Horror Out of the Can Haunt Review 2016 for the House of Shock. We will see you guys next time.